हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल दीक्षा कर्नाटका सो केसे 2024 काउंसलिंग इज गोइंग अराउंड एंड वी आर एट द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेप ऑफ द होल काउंसलिंग प्रोसेस दैट इज द ऑप्शन एंट्री एज यू नो ऑप्शन एंट्री इज द स्टेज इज द थिंग दैट विल डिसाइड व्हिच कॉलेज व्हिच कोर्स यू आर गोइंग टू गेट फॉर द यू आर गोइंग टू गेट यू आर गोइंग टू स्टडी फॉर द नेक्स्ट फोर इयर्स राइट सो दैट इज वाई इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट यू डू दिस step very carefully and avoid any type of mistakes because any mistake at this point of time my dear student will lead you to getting some college that you don't deserve therefore in this video we'll be discussing the seven important mistakes that you must avoid so that you get the best college for you so that you can prepare the best preference list for you okay so let us start so i want all of you to sit down take a notebook take a pen and list down all the seven mistakes and keep it pasted so that whenever you are preparing the option entry do this check that you are not doing any of these seven mistakes okay so let us start with the first mistake that you might do but you should not do that is your so the first one is say no to minimal or no preparation so what is it which college or course is your preference that is what first you should know the second why is this your preference okay now see when i'm saying it preparation what does the word preparation mean here okay what prep, what should you prepare while preparing the option entry while making the option entry what are the things that you must prepare so here are the list of those things you must have the list of the course okay the course that you want to study the colleges that you want to study okay about this colleges about this courses to their placements okay their cut off fees location right so do proper research on these things about the colleges and the courses that you want to study do proper research take some time take one day or two day time sit for the whole day do google do research and you have lot of uh, like you can see in our channel also we have many videos regarding the college reviews the placements the cut off so just take a watch check with your rank and list down those colleges which come in your rank range okay so that is the first mistake that you should not do is minimal preparation take extensive research for all these colleges and their courses next is lack of knowledge about the order of preference see first answer next is this one have you made a rough list of your order of preferences yes or no yes if you have made the or uh, like list of all the preferences that you want to study next is do you know how to order them yes this is very very important so i'll be telling you how are you going to order your preferences okay so for example let us assume that you have selected for some around uh, 20 colleges okay you have selected 20 colleges and in each college we have chosen five courses right five courses in each college so the total number of options now you will be having is 100 right now what to do with this 100 options first note down all the colleges all the courses that you are wishing and note down their cut off for the last year you can take round 2 extended 2023 cut off or if you are getting round 2 data is available in the kea website just check and note down the cut off now what to do arrange them in this way see suppose your rank is 17 89 for example okay now those courses whose cut off is very high from your rank put them first okay and you want to study in that course in that college that is mandatory this 100 options are those which you want to study these are those colleges these are the those courses which you want to study right so all these 100 options are your preferences now in this 100 options which cut off are very high which is not uh, in uh, near to your rank put them first okay done next second set of colleges will be those or those options where the rank is nearby to your rank like for example if this is 1789 if some college courses around cut off is around some 1500 to 2000 or you can say 1100 to 2000 in this range whatever colleges courses are coming put them in the second now third are those which you are very sure that you will get for example any course cut off is 2000 last year 2010 okay you know that your rank is less than this so obviously you'll get that so those colleges which uh, preferences or whose cut off was 
very confident that you will get that you put at the last okay this is the correct way of ordering them okay so 100 options first those which you will not get second which you may or may not get third which you are very confident you will get see how many options you put kea will scan all the options right so don't worry that you will not get if you put the at last at end not nothing like that this you should follow the order and kea will check every option so wherever your rank is matching they will allot you that okay so that is why first do this one next third one yeah this is one example you can see for example uh, the cut student rank is 1789 so they have selected those colleges whose cutoff was very high according to the previous year cutoff now those which we can get and towards the end which we are very sure that we will get you see these colleges these ranks like for example uh, 1500 these are somewhere near to my cutoff uh, to my rank right so i have put them these are very very far away from my rank i have put them first then which you may or may not get and the next one which we are very sure that we will be getting okay so use this one so third mistake that you must avoid is do not enter a limited number of colleges see this is very general thing see fill as many choices as possible you wish to just be careful with the order do not limit the seat choice just based on cutoff okay so only thing that you should check is not cutoff you should see the placement you should see the fees because you may be qualifying the cutoff but you are not very good financially and you will not be able to pay the fees of that college so check every parameter and then select the list of colleges and one more important thing see it is very general if you have more options kea will have more options to give you if you select only five courses and you are not qualifying any five of them you will not be allotted any seat right so that is very very important to give as many number of options as possible Okay, so for that you have to do proper research of all the colleges and courses that are available. Okay, so that is very important. Put as many colleges and courses you are interested in. Okay, next, do not choose a college on the basis of one course. See, for example, do your research on what other branches are available with similar or better opportunities in the future. Okay. Now, what is this mistake? See, I want to study computer science. I am very, very, very interested in computer science. But my cutoff is not uh, falling in the range of CS cutoff. Or my rank is not falling in the CS cutoff. But there are so many other courses which are allied to computer science. You can see today in today's, uh, like you can see colleges, there are computer science with uh, cyber security, computer science with data science, computer science with business system, computer science with internet of thinking, uh, and then uh, blockchain technology, right? Computer science with data science, many things are there. Computer science with artificial uh, intelligence and machine learning, many computer science related branches are there. So don't be very rigid that I want only this option other than that I won't study anything. Don't be like that. It, it will be your loss only. You will end up in getting not getting a good college. So that is why be little flexible. Be uh, just check the opportunities that are present with different colleges, the placement records that you are having, the placement, the offers that is made in the related branches. So in that way, you have to make your preference list. Don't, so very important thing, don't be rigid with the course. Be little flexible and that and the, the course that you're choosing must be matching with your interest and passion also okay but it should have little flexibility okay that is how you can get a better college so if you are very rigid your limited choices will be there okay so if you have not performed very well in the exam and you have a limited choice you will not end up in getting a good college so if you little diversify you little diversify your uh, uh, the choices of branches then more options you can give to ka and ka can give you seat according to those choices right okay now coming to the fifth mistake that you must avoid is do not have wrong estimations based on the seat matrix so remember there will be seats for reservation category as well and other applicants could also have better merit okay so what is this what i want to say from this point just check the seat matrix before going and check your category okay how many like for example if you see the kea final seat matrix for rv college okay for rv college the total seat is 1420 but for kea from k set you have only i think some 600 around some seats are there so you have to check the seat matrix properly don't see that okay total seats are there so that is available for me 
every seat the seat distribution is based on the category so check your category check your seat then do the option entry okay, okay. next do not forget to recheck the data and to save the changes this is very 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 important you have given the exam you have got very good rank you have uh, devoted a lot of time and made a proper uh, research analysis and made a preference list you have entered the options but you didn't save it then nothing you will get okay very very important step is to save your options so stay so this is what you have to be very calm during this process as i told you very important step if you hurry and if you are panicking you will end up doing a wrong preference list for you next have a thorough recheck of all the options with college codes you have entered this is one more important thing that we have discussed for every college there is a college code okay then there is a course description okay so for example in bms college if you see bms college has two codes i don't remember the value but it has two codes based on based for aided courses and unaided courses right two colleges two codes are there now for example you want to your rank is in aided courses but you put the code for unaided college then you will end up in paying in more fees right such mistakes can be done so what are what all things that you should recheck so what are the things that you should recheck three things you have to recheck first is the college code okay second is the course description there are so many abbreviations so check the list we have made a video where we have discussed the different course description what does ce stands for me stands for a i a d what does this all stand for so make the proper course check that whatever you want and the abbreviation actually stands for it and the most last and the most important is saving your options if you do not save then kea will not give you any seat okay so very very important three things before you submit should be rechecked okay and the last and the most important thing do not use random rank and college predictor there are so many in the websites if you open so many rank predictors are there to give you a rank for you okay i am not saying do not use at all use them but don't trust them blindly use your own analysis use your own time do proper research that is the process they are also doing the same way you will also do the same way right but once you do the research you will have more clarity about the colleges about the courses about the cut off and your rank and you can make a better preference list for you right so that is why research your own uh, about the seat matrix cut off range and the placement rates here are the seven mistakes that you must avoid so that you can make the best preference list for you and you can get the more deserving college for yourself right so if you have any doubt regarding the counseling process regarding the option entry please comment down we'll definitely address it and thank you for watching and please subscribe the channel for more updates